Hey guys, it's me, Darsh, and welcome to Day Brothers. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add fractions. Before we start this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's get started. So, adding fractions. Let's get an example. One half plus one half. Okay, so as we learned in a past video, this here is the numerator and this here is the denominator. Full video on that if you want to go check it out right now. So let's continue with adding. So if I was to draw this out, um, I would have to divide it into two pieces since it's one half. So I already have one half and I want to get another half. So what we want to do is add the numerators together. So we would get two other numerators. We want to keep our denominator the same. This is because the, um, the amount of the pieces that I have in the whole is the same throughout the whole equation. So we want to keep that the same. And I have um, the full whole now, two halves, that would equal to one. 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 <laughs> okay, so let's get another one. Hmm. One third plus one third. Okay, let's try to do this one without drawing it out. So remember, what we want to do is add the numerator and keep this the same, which is why sometimes it's written like, one plus one under the same denominator. So what will that be? Pause this video and try to figure it out for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna assume you paused it and tried it for yourself. And the answer is one plus one, two, keep the three, two thirds. Okay, let's go to a more sophisticated one. Okay, let's get one half plus one third. Now the denominators are different. They represent how many pieces I have divided the whole into. So one looks like this. And another looks like this. So I can't exactly add them together yet, but we can if we find the LCM. The LCM is the least common multiple of the two numbers that are the denominators, two and three. To find the LCM, the least common multiple, we have to look at the timetables of these two numbers. So let's go to five, two, three, four and five. Okay, two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight, and two times five is 10. Three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, three times four is 12, and three times five is 15. So we need to look for the least common multiple, which means we have to look for the smallest number that these two numbers, three and four, three and two, have the same. So I can see that they have six and six. So that's what our denominator is gonna be, six. Now, since, um, since six is on the third um, row for two, we are gonna have to multiply this by two and put this here. We have to divide each half. Wait, no, it's on three. So we're gonna have to divide, we're gonna have to put, we're gonna have to divide um, each half into three pieces. And, wait, and since it's on the second row for three, we're gonna have to divide each half into two pieces. I mean, third into two pieces. Okay, look, exactly the same. Now, if we didn't have the drawing there, what were we gonna do? If we didn't have the drawing, what we would do is write down a number, of course, 
and then we would actually have to multiply them by what more than one. So for two, it's times three. So we would multiply it by three, both the numerator, because um, since the numerator was one, and the one is now divided into three pieces. So now we're gonna have to multiply that by three, and two, since it's on the third row, we're gonna have to multiply two as well. And then for three, we'll put that in parentheses, for three, we would have to add, we would have to add an additional line, and then three, and then since it's on the second row, times two, times two. Okay, so I didn't type enough space there, so the three is just tiny, but ignore that. So that would then become three sixths plus two sixths, which you can add them together then for five sixths. Let me draw that five a bit better. Five sixths. Okay, let's get another example. Um, yeah, two fourths plus one half. Okay, let's try to add that without, I repeat, without drawing the rectangles. Pause this video here and try to figure it out for yourself. Okay, I assume that you paused it and you tried it. So, let's do it. So, as I said, if we're not going to draw the rectangles, we're going to have to multiply. So, first we have to look at our time scale first though. So for four, four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12, four times four is 16, and four times five is 20. Keep that in, the, in your mind. For two, two times one is two, and two times two is four. That's common. Four times one is four, and two times two is four. So four is our LCM here. So to multiply it, since it, we can keep the four the same since it's on the first row and it, the four is already there, so we can just write two fourths there, or since we're going to be multiplying it by one, it's going to stay the same. So it's going to be two fourths already. But on for two, since it's on the second row, we're going to have to put our multiplication sign here, and then we're going to have to do one half times two times two, and then we're going to have to do that, which will then equal to two fourths plus. 2 fourths equals to 4 fourths equals to 1. There you have it, adding fractions. And yeah, see you in the next video where I will teach you to subtract fractions. And that's it for today. Bye.